Today we are looking at the Toyota Hilux 2.8 GD6 Rider double cab Baki pickup truck, ute, van or whatever you call it there where you are. The Toyota Hilux is South Africa's best selling car but this particular model, the Hilux Rider is kind of overshadowed by its bigger brother, the top of the range Toyota Hilux Legend variant. The Hilux Rider double cab is also available in a cheaper 2.4 GD6 derivative. Let's dive in deeper to see what makes this car so popular. Welcome to another video. So starting with the front end as usual, we have xenon headlamps with daytime running lights while the 2.4 rider double cab derivative has halogen lamps with no daytime running lights. At the center we have a hexagonal front grille surrounded by a chrome trim. Just below the headlamps we have a high gloss black decorative inset which houses a dynamite size fog lamp. Moving on to the side profile, we have some nice grey six spoke alloy wheels. There's chrome door handles and a chrome side mirror cover which is one way of spotting the difference between this 2.8 rider and the 2.4 rider variant. The 2.4 derivative comes with black door handles and black side mirror covers. This is the part where you go ahead and click the like button because I believe you've learned something you didn't know before. You might as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, it's free. Oh, there's also an integrated side step for easy entry because this car has quite a raised body. At the back, there's a chrome rear bumper with integrated parking sensors. The tailgate handle is also finished in chrome. The Tony cover and the chrome roll bar don't come standard with the car. A Hilux roll bar costs between 7,000 and 9,000 rands and you can opt for a black one if you are not a fan of chrome. This Hilux has a 2.8 diesel engine and sadly the 2.8 GD6 double cab variant is not available with a manual transmission. A manual transmission is only available in the 2.4 GD6 double cab variant. This model has a power output of 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque. The top speed is 175 kilometers per hour and its average fuel consumption is claimed to be 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers. With regards to pricing, the 2.4 manual derivative is the cheapest rider and it starts from 530,000 rands while the 2.4 automatic starts from 546,000 rands. The top of the range rider 2.8 automatic starts from 660,000 rands and it can easily cross the 700,000 rands mark when you add optional extras such as the roll bar, tonic cover, bin rubberizing and more. The major performance difference between the 2.4 and the 2.8 rider is that the 2.4 produces only 110 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque while the 2.8 produces 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque there's only a 40 kilowatts difference in power and 100 newton meters in torque if you just want a double cap for normal day-to-day -day driving i'd recommend the 2.4 derivative but if you want some extra punch of power then the 2.8 derivative is the car for you let me know in the comment section which Hilux is your cup of tea between the 2.4 Rider derivative and this 2.8 GD6 variant. In my next video, we will be focusing on the differences between this Toyota Hilux Rider and the Toyota Hilux Legend variant, which is also referred to as the Toyota Hilux Rocco or Rogue in some parts of the world. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more car content in Mzanzi context.